Business Ethics Public Debate is open to undergraduate students from the Faculty of Business. The event, which has run for the last two years, gives students the opportunity to present their independently researched ideas on particular ethical dilemmas facing business and to debate them with an audience of staff and students. Participation in the debate is voluntary and extracurricular. Students commit to taking part in three or four informal facilitated argumentation sessions before the debate itself. This year, two pairs of students took part. Lamar Lamborn and Flor Olignon explored the question of wealth and inequality, while Del Wood, Ali and Becky Middleton focused on environmental responsibilities in the energy sector. At the public debate, the student presentations are judged on two factors. Firstly, how well they analyse the ethical dilemma facing business, and secondly, the persuasiveness, in ethical terms, of their responses to the dilemma. Audience participation is encouraged, with staff and students from across the faculty invited to attend. It's about ethics in business. That's what our focus is tonight. And um, we've got four really enthusiastic students who've worked as volunteers um, to prepare for this debate this evening. Uh, just to list a few and uh, just give a brief description on them, um, solar power, photovoltaics, modern, modern panels produce around 250 watt hours uh, per, per meter squared. And with the brown power this company have, they have a responsibility to give back and help um, tackle climate change. Uh, there's also the issue of uh, being in the right place uh, at the right time, and this is a generational issue. Um, but we believe that there exists a, a disparity in wealth between the older and younger generations of today, as property was obviously much more affordable, uh, you know, a generation ago and so on. And we also think that it's, there is a huge problem at the moment is, um, is about location. Um, all of the headquarters are right now in the UK located mostly in London. And we think that m maybe businesses should look at um, other places to do business. A company who does not require to be in London can maybe reloc relocate in the countryside where their employees could just buy a house somewhere where um, properties are more accessible. You briefly touched on, on the government and their sort of uh, influence in all of this, but I was just wondering with the, the new government coming in, what sort of impact is that going to have over the next? Well, whilst we're still in a government. Under the current ruling party, is is quite concerning because they're going to they want to full throttle go with investing in fracking. Um, going back to women in the workplace and equal pay, you mentioned some act in two thousand and ten that came across about equal pay, and obviously if we're on, we're five years ahead of that now. What? Why hasn't that changed? Why is there still this problem in your opinion? It's really expensive to start a lawsuit, so if I'm a woman and I'm not getting paid as much as Lamar is getting paid, and I want to sue my company, it's going to be extremely expensive for me to go and try to sue them. And um, I don't think it's just possible for each person to start you know, trying to have this enforced. Both groups had identified the issues, but we did feel that both groups had actually missed on citing the, your issues in your chosen area in a broader context. We thought both groups handled the Q&A sessions very well, um, but the, our overall thinking was that the second group had the edge. So, as far as we're concerned, it was extremely close. Both groups were very impressive, but it's the second group who we feel have triumphed on this occasion. Um, can I say, for my part, I, I, I would agree with the judges. I thought we had some very um, well-researched presentations, some convincing arguments um, in um, the presentation itself, but it was actually the quality of the question and answer afterwards. And to be able to think on your feet, having researched the material, and this applies to both groups, is a very difficult task to master, but I think you both did it eminently well. Um, so, once again, congratulations, um, and here's your winning piece of red card, and you can hold those up to the cameras. Congratulations on, on having done a wonderful debate. Very well done.
business ethics debate is a really good way of raising the profile of business ethics in our business faculty, as well as helping students to improve their public speaking skills. All the students who have taken part have valued the opportunity to think deeply about the ethical responsibilities of business. The debate is now an annual event in the Oxford Brooks Faculty of Business and the aim is to develop it further, involving students from other faculties or universities. If you are interested in being involved or finding out more, please contact Dr Jill Miller in the Oxford Brooks Faculty of Business. Email jmiller at brooks.ac.uk